the last thing that the Golden Globes got right was making Vicky Gervais the host. That award means nothing. You will never hear actors or actresses or directors saying how many Golden Globes they have won. Your second-hand car that is five years old is worth more than a Golden Globe. I'll just let Vicky Gervais explain to you all why this award means nothing. One Hollywood publication said that me hosting would mean that some film stars would stay away for fear of being made fun of. As if film stars would stay away from the chance of winning a Golden Globe, particularly if their film company has already paid for it. <laughs> I'd like to quash this ridiculous rumour going around that the only reason the Taurus was nominated was so the Hollywood Foreign Press could hang out with Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie. That is, that is rubbish. That is not the only reason. They also accepted bribes. Let's... <laughs> Coming to this year's Golden Globes, the full nomination list just got out and there are of course a lot of surprises that literally don't matter but let me just go through them so that you guys can understand like how these awards are really meaningless and they just nominate people so that they can come to their award show and increase their star power. Like it has nothing to do with the merit. No, the small filmmakers don't get any credit in these award shows. It's not a celebration of movies, it's not a celebration of cinema. It's not a celebration of anything and this has nothing to do with Marvel or DC or anything that destroys cinema. It's just to do with an award show that has been going on for years. Let's start with Best Motion Picture Drama. So again, this is one of the fundamental flaws of the Golden Globes. They have separate nominations for the drama and musical or comedy category. And that is fine if they try to fit those genres correctly. But let me just go through these nominations and explain to you why this really sucks. So we get Oppenheimer, Killers of the Flower Moon, Maestro, Past Lives, The Zone of Interest and Up to Me for Fall. Now, you might say that this is a pretty solid list. I agree. I expect all these five or how many, six movies to be uh, nominated for the Best Picture Oscar or at least be around the conversation. So I have no problems in this Best Motion Picture. I mean, the problem comes when I discuss about the musical or comedy section of here. We get Barbie, Poor Things, American Fiction, Holdovers, May, December, and Air. There is no way in hell that Air is a comedy. Like, like there is nothing about that movie that tells me it's a comedy. It's a drama. It's clearly a, a dramatic movie. It has tense moments. It has serious moments. Yes, there are moments of comedy there. But if you tell me Air is a comedy, I would say it's the biggest joke ever. It's the Martian happening over again. If you remember when The Martian got nominated for the Golden Globes, it was also for Best Picture Musical or Comedy. Again, is The Holdovers a comedy? It's arguable it is. Is American Fiction a comedy? You could say it is, but these movies, if you give me a choice of putting it in comedy or drama, I would put them in drama. The only issue is that you can't, you can't fit more than six films in the drama category. And that's why they divide the movies into two. And the reason they have this musical or comedy category is also because they are able to put many movies in these categories that literally has no, ch no chance for an Oscar. For example, I don't think Air has any chance of getting nominated for Best Picture. Now, I do love Air. If it was my personal top 10 list, maybe it could make it. But, that, but uh, I, I'll tell you right now and I'm 100% sure about this, Air will not get nominated for Best Picture. It doesn't have the buzz. It was released very early in the year. There is no way it gets nominated. The only reason it's in the Golden Globes is because it, it has Matt Damon and ben, Affleck and ben Affleck in it and they both are big stars. And the Golden Globes people uh, just wanted to hang out with them, like the Critics Association that vote, vote for these awards that are part of the Hollywood Foreign Press. Um, I don't even know how that works exactly. I just know that it's just 80 or 100 people voting for uh, these awards. Um, and for some reason, some people value them. I don't know who they are, but if you really value these awards, then you need to think twice about your life choices. Yeah. Now, when it comes to Best Director, again, I don't think there are any surprises in the Best Director category. Um, I think this one is not divided into um, musical or comedy and drama. But uh, again, I, I expect all of these to be there even in the Oscars. So maybe this is one category that they got right. So moving on to screenplay, again, no surprises here. All these are pretty expected. Um, Best performance by an actor in a motion picture. All these are fine. But again, they have divided the actor category into two. 
we have musical or comedy as well and here we can see some weird nominations that are never going to happen in the oscars matt damon is never going to get nominated for air um paul giamatti is nominated as uh, as a comedic performance for the holdovers jeffrey wright is also nominated as a comedic performance even walking phoenix you could argue that all of these maybe apart from wonka are dramatic movies they are not comedy movies i don't know about dream scenario and why nicolas cage is here he's getting literally no buzz and i have haven't heard about this movie so a bit surprised there as well so yeah basically summing it up um the dramatic category still holds some weight but the reason the comedy category exists is just because they can't fit everything into the drama category and it's there just for inviting famous actors and actresses who don't actually deserve to be there um they just invite them because it increases the star power of the show and golden globes is that award show that people really don't take seriously it's just about having a couple of drinks and enjoying the show um and i'm actually glad that it exists because we have we had ricky gervais host it five or six times i think and the best thing that they could actually do to this show is inviting him again so that he can make fun of the golden globes and we all can have, have a good time but yeah um i don't think many people take it seriously but some people still do like after the oscars the most uh, that i hear about is actually the golden globes which is pretty funny i think the sag awards or the dga or the pga are like much more worth than the golden globes but again i think this is because um it is being produced by a by a big company and it gets a lot of us as well so yeah i think those were just my thoughts about the golden globe nominations this year it really doesn't matter i just wanted to make this video to cover um the award show but yeah and you won't be hearing me saying that this movie has a better chance to get nominated for an oscar because it got nominated for a golden globe that argument if anyone makes that argument i'm telling you it's just false it's not true it doesn't make any sense these are just 80 or 100 people so there's no no overlap here there is no correlation here golden globes can be bought can be sold um i like i said it's worth less than your second hand fridge or your second hand car that has been running for 5 or 10 years it doesn't really matter and yeah that's pretty much it guys um if you like this video do like and subscribe and i'll keep making more content uh, as we approach the oscar season but yeah those were my thoughts